Right, so this is Natalie who has been waiting a little while but she's come on the first day of the startup course with Katie. So Natalie, you've been thinking about perm makeup for quite a while, haven't you? Yeah, quite a while actually. Um, years and years? Several years. Okay. Yes, yeah. And what do you, so what do you do at the moment? Just so um, I'm a nail technician at the moment. Okay. And I work part-time at Waitrose. Okay, so a couple of jobs. Yeah, a couple of jobs. So. <laughs> and I suppose Waitrose came in handy when the pandemic hit, absolutely. when you can't work on people. Absolutely, absolutely. I have been, I'd like to say sitting around twiddling my thumbs, but I haven't because yeah. I've been working at Waitrose extra shifts. So. Okay, <laughs> excellent. So you did, now, so very much like Katie, she started off as a nail technician yeah. and an artist nail technician and all yeah. that. So, and then what made you decide to finally take the plunge then? Um, well, I always thought that you had to have specific premises in yeah. order to be able to do this. So that sort of put me off doing it because I wasn't really sure how to go about it. Mm -hmm. And then, strangely enough, I saw Rich House Poor House oh, right, yeah. um, and saw, obviously, what was achieved on there. And that inspired me to do a lot more research and then think, actually, I could do it. I, I can actually make this happen for me. Yeah. So, yeah, so excellent. I got in touch with you and here I am now. Wow, excellent. And obviously, like, like you say, a lot of people think they have to have a big premises or something like that. But then they realise, just like you've done with your nail business, you've actually convert, you know, converted a room in your yeah. house. And you know, a lot yeah. of people start that way. Um, and actually, you've just done the first day. Well, actually, going back from the first day, before you came, we obviously sent you your pre-study manual. Just an example, some of our students who are coming on the courses in the future. This is the amount of work that um, Natalie has actually done. So, talking about eyebrow practice sheets, you've actually yep. got a wad of, I don't know, it's like an entire extra manual thickness. I even started with my start, so you could I could even see my own progress as I was going so along. So, methodically sort of... As you, you can see. You knew how you were getting on and you co photocopied the pages again yep, and again and yep, again and again. again, and, again. And, again and again. And so. obviously Kate has said that practice has worked wonders because today you've come and actually done your first sort of brow treatments on the practice skins. I have. And let's have, have a little look. So I can zoom in there. So you can actually see you've actually managed to blade and shade all sorts of different brows there. How, and how did you actually find it? Like doing the brow shaping and that. I was quite nervous before I came because when I was doing all these drawings, I'm thinking, oh, I'm not getting it as accurate as I maybe yeah. should do. And I was really quite nervous. But once I got started on the sheets here, because they had a few guidelines, so it gave me the confidence to know which way I was doing it. And actually, I'm I'm quite pleased with my own work, I yeah. have to say. So. And it wasn't as daunting as I thought it was going to be either. So I'm really pleased with what I've achieved in day one. Excellent. And how was actually Kate's training overall? Because obviously really it's just good. you, just very, you here. Yeah, very informal, very friendly, puts you at ease. You know, one thing I felt, you know, I'm a bit older than possibly most of your students, well, I don't know. Well, we, we have lots of people, I'd say, well, there's just, we train everyone from all walks yeah, of life. Yeah, but sometimes you feel that it's a young person's game sort of thing to get into. Yeah, I can understand why um, people think that, yeah. but then also a lot of Kate's clients are sort of over 40, 50 years old, because they're the ones that have a an actual physical need for the treatments themselves, because they've overplucked their brows over the years and things yeah, like that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's yeah. markets for everybody at the end of the yeah. day. Yeah. So you were a little bit hesitant thinking about that. That's probably why it took you a little while to book it, I suppose. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because I think sometimes as well, as you get older, you almost lack um, confidence in your own ability to be able to yeah. sort of change careers and adapt and do things. Even though really so. it's an extension to what you already do in the beauty industry yeah, yes, to yeah. some degree. Yeah. And obviously, despite the hesitations, you've been here one day and you're, you're brewing with confidence now. Yeah, I'm loving it. So <laughs> I wish I'd done it ages ago, but never mind. That's what everybody says. I know, students. I know. But I know. Um, you're here now and that's the main thing. Absolutely. And, uh, and great first day and we'll look forward to seeing how you get on, obviously, tomorrow and beyond. Fabulous. Thank you. Excellent. Cheers, Natalie. Thanks. Bye.